Hello, my name's David McClelland, and I'm a tech journalist and a presenter. And I'm here today to help you out with some of your tech queries. First of all, what is an ISO file? Well, it is an archive of a disk image, which basically means it's the contents of a DVD or a CD, but rather than copying all of the individual files, they're all scrunched together into one ISO file archive. Now, software that you download from the internet might be distributed as an ISO file. And the problem is when you've downloaded that to your computer, what do you do with it? Because you can't access the files contained within that ISO file unless you either burn it to a CD or to a DVD or use a special piece of software that allows you to mount that as a virtual CD or DVD. So what I'm going to show you how to do is to access those files using a piece of virtual CD software. Let's have a look. Now, the software that we're going to use is called Virtual Clone Drive and it is freeware, which means that you can download it and use it without paying for it. And it's available from a company called Slysoft. So if you visit www.slysoft.com and then you will see that you're able to download the virtual clone drive software. So in good demonstration fashion, here's one I downloaded earlier. So what we do is simply install this. It only takes a couple of moments to install, choosing all of the defaults. Click on continue here, because it's installing a driver to your operating system that pretends, basically, that it is a CD drive. So now what happens, whenever you open a .iso file, rather than the computer going, uh, I don't quite know what to do with this, it'll give you the option of opening that ISO file as a virtual CD drive. So to access the files on that, all you will do is go to My Computer and then click on the virtual CD drive and you'll have access to all of your files. So that's how to access an ISO file.